try to get away from the kids and let us both join me on the bed. Can you, daddy, daddy's gonna do a little a little video. Can can can, can you give daddy five five ten minutes? Okay, no. No. What's going on guys? Free Robinson here. I'm one of the hosts in the ball, don't lie. Just wanted to start this video off by saying me and Frank appreciate all the feedback what everyone's been giving and liking the response that everyone's given to the show. I'd like to say I hope everyone's staying safe and staying healthy in this situation because the pandemic is really, really testing times. I hope everyone's staying safe. As I said, me and Frank has started a show where we're giving insight to players' careers. So there's no better off way to start it off by saying what I've been doing today. I started off with a bike ride, found a, found some stairs, done a little run up there, come back home, had the kids in the garden, bouncing on the trampoline for a good two, three hours. <laughs> My legs are tired. It's really good fun, as is, as everyone can knows. <laughs> Homeschooling now. Raphael Robinson is in reception now. He's learned about his phonics. He's actually teaching me <laughs> more than I'm teaching him, which is quite funny. <laughs> But well, I take it, I take it on the chin. <laughs> but um, back to me and Frank now, we, where we've started the ball, don't lie. We're um, giving insight to players' careers. So there's no better way to talk about our situations, what's going on now. Frank's been told his, his situation um, and is released from Colchester, which is quite sad in a sense because the season ain't finished. I know Frank's a positive person and he's a very good player. I've seen him day in, day out. And I've played with him at Southampton before. I know he's going to be all right. But in that sense, it's still a test in times where it's a waiting game right now. I hope that we just, just say, stay positive and I mean, I mean, you can get through this, really. My situation's a little bit different where I'm unknown to Colchester and I'm still contracted to Southend for the next two to two, uh, two months. But we don't know when the season's going to start back. For me, it's a test in times, really, because, as I said, the loan finishes in a couple, well, a couple of days. I would, love, I would love to have finished the season off because obviously I've done so well there where I'm actually top goal scorer there and we're actually sitting in the playoffs in a in a good in in good stead really for the last nine games so it's a bit of a frustrating one in that sense and I hope that it can get resolved uh, due to the safety of everyone else really so going forward um I hope that something can get sorted with with the leagues and and obviously I'd love to see the fans in the past, I've been out of contract a few times where it's quite stressful in a sense. Just had a newborn baby, Raphael, and um, I moved to Scotland. No friends and family around really, so it's quite challenging. But it was it was good in other sense where I le we learnt quite quite a lot together as a as a as a young family. Another time was where I was on out of contract, and so so Ray, my little one, was due in September. So for me, it was, I was on trial and in August in various different clubs. It's quite stressful in the sense of up and down the motorways, trialling at different clubs and not knowing where you're going to get a contract really to survive for your family. So for me, it was obviously a stressful time where I hope that I don't have to go down that situa that, down that route again because I feel like I've, I've done enough at Colchester this season and to earn a contract somewhere else or to earn a contract wherever it may be. Being out of contract doesn't just affect me. It affects my family. Raphael said it in school, like six months time. Obviously, we're learning phonics at home now. But from that six months of being at school, he's um, excelled. He's actually reading books now to, 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 to us. So he's quite, he's quite good as a, as a father mum and I'm quite proud. So Ray now, she's at nursery. She's, as I said, she's at Salon as well in her own ways. Little, little bundle of joy. My partner now, she's, she's just starting, um, a job. So it just doesn't just affect me. It affects my whole family in that sense where, it comes down to me with, 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 with where my contract situation is going to be. Everybody thinks that football life is as glamorous, but it's not as glamorous. People have been through certain things in their in their careers, and no one knows the the backstory behind it. So, over these past few years now, I've lost quite a few people that's been close to me. Um, my, my dad, my granddad, my auntie, my close friends, my partner's probably had a health scare. Um, I don't know why I'm even getting emotional about it as much. This is one of the things that we go through as football players. When I was football players, as normal human beings, so everyone else goes through it. But football, football, I would say, was a good distraction in that sense where when you cross the pitch, you just all your worries go away. At the end of the day, everyone goes through what they go through. I'm lucky to be lucky to have my job. It gives me a good distraction away from from all the 
the, the normal stuff that people go through. Stressful time in the world right now, but um, family, seeing them grow, watching them every day is a, is a blessing. I hope everyone else out there is enjoying their time with their family, basically, because you never know what could happen. I hope everyone just takes care and take care of themselves, basically, because you never know what people are going through. Oh, 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 o